A baby is born, its first welcome wail a cry for life. At that instant, she has no awareness of the family, neighborhood, or community into which she has made her entrance. She has simply arrived. If these kids are lucky, their families have the knowledge, resources, and social support to instill in them the physical and mental fitness, resiliency, and self-esteem necessary to respond to the rigors of life. One in four children born in the East Bay, their families do not. Brighter Beginning's mission is to break down that divide. We believe that every child, no matter the family situation, deserves the same opportunities. And all parents, regardless of circumstance, share similar hopes and dreams for their families. ¿Quién es? Mami. ¿Y quién más? Y Anthony. I don't regret my son, but I wish I could have waited a little bit. But I think that if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be who I am now. I just do what I can and try to do my best. After working with Brighter Beginnings, my, like, I just put everything to the side. I'm more mature now. I see things different. And now, like, my family and I have a better relationship. And we all just, you know, try to be a family. Better Beginnings has helped a lot. For African American moms, we have a special black infant health program that provides social support and empowerment, prenatal and postnatal parenting groups that also focuses on the black family experiences. Because compared to white babies, African American babies are around twice as likely to be born too small and be born too early and die before reaching their first birthday. Families are at the heart of everything we do. We treat them with respect and meet them where they are without judgment. How old are you? How old are you? He's I'm Mari. <laughs> look at his so look. Look, look, look. Okay. Look. Right now, I am working part time. You know, I want to finish school. That's up to me. That's what it means to me as far as being successful is to finish school um, and whatever. I mean, I want to be like a therapist or, you know, something along those lines. It's true that, you know, in order to get things, you have to get up and go get them. But some people just need just that support and just for more families to know about the resources and to know, you know, if you need us, we're here and not to feel intimidated by how they're going to be treated, you know, based on their financial status or, you know, whatever the case may be. But, you know, just to have that support within the community. How old are you? Huh? You this mini? Do you? Yes. <laughs> Our work with fathers includes a nine-week fatherhood support group, individual coaching and case management, and daddy and me play groups. I think it's really great for dads. It's really great for the kids to just have their dads uh, there. And I think it's great for the dads to talk to other dads. Just laying those walls down. I think a lot of younger dads um, who might not have anyone to talk to about things. I really feel like it's just a, it's helped me um, to just be be a better father. You know, it's really helped me to understand like the kids a lot more. Understand how the kids interact with each other. After the first couple times of uh, going to brighter beginnings, doing the daddy me, really just let go of all that. Just said, you know, I'm a dad and. My, my children are sponges willing to learn, and as a father, and, and my wife feels the same way, as a mom, as parents, we also need to be sponges because we don't have all the answers. Family strengthening, the framework for every aspect of our work, 
is a deliberate process of giving parents the necessary opportunities, relationships, networks, and support to raise healthy children and thrive as a family unit. If you believe every family matters, we invite you to learn more about Brighter Beginnings. Our hope is that you'll become involved in this important endeavor.